Uh, this weekend's test in Melbourne isn't the only major rugby event taking place across the other side of the world in Moscow. The Rugby World Cup Sevens kicks off. Here's Ben Lloyd. Before the heat of Rio 2016 and the Olympics, the Sevens Roadshow heads to Moscow for their showpiece event, the Rugby World Cup Sevens, this weekend. Our main goal for this year has been World Cup. Uh, we've trialled lots of players in the last few tournaments in World Series, getting everything sorted. So I think uh, the coaching staff has done a really good job to be building up towards World Cup. We, you know, we really want to peak at World Cup in Russia. The men's side has had an indifferent season, but a confidence boost in second in London has them building nicely. You know, we haven't had the best season on record. Um, you know, probably slow start and we've had a few disappointing results throughout the year, but um, to get, I guess, second at London there, we've finally found some form and, uh, yeah, hopefully we can take that into the World Cup. The women's team will shoulder an extra burden in Moscow. They'll be defending their title, which they won in Dubai in 09. We've got to come back with that trophy. We have to, because... We've got to show our older sisters that have played before that we can still do it as well. I know that every single game that we turn up to play, like it, I know it's, it's like a grand final. If you lose one game, you pretty much can say goodbye. With the profile of Rugby Sevens building each year, the World Cup will serve as another platform in gaining the sport the recognition it deserves. Uh, a lot more people are starting to ask us about Women's Sevens. Um, we, we go to the men's tournaments now, to London and Hong Kong, and we get, we get to play in front of massive crowds. I mean, it's there for the men, but it's still a great experience for women now to get a bit more exposure. I guess most places we go these days, uh, we, we have a sellout uh, crowd, so it's only getting bigger every year. Both sides are ready for the challenge, and they have a clear message for their rivals. Speaking to a few of the other, uh, other teams on the circuit, they always know that when they pass, they're up for a, a red-hot game, so, you know, um, with sevens, you know, anyone can beat anyone on the day. And, you know, going to this World Cup, uh, hopefully we can come away with a great win. Hope so. Luke Morahan, Bernard Foley, Matt Lucas, all included in the men's squad. Big names looking for big results. So you can catch all the final day's action on Sunday. Fox Sports 2 at 3.30 Eastern.